When you first arrive at the test centre, you should park up and then go and wait for the examiner in the waiting room. When he comes out, he'll call your name, he'll ask for your documents, he'll ask you to read and sign a declaration while he carries on looking at the rest of your documentation. You will then be kitted up with a radio and an earpiece. You'll then go outside and read a vehicle registration from the required distance and then over to the bike for the motorcycle safety questions and the pillion passenger questions as well. You'll be asked to follow the road ahead at all times unless signs or the instruction is given by the examiner, told about the independent ride and you'll pull over a few times to carry out compulsory exercises like the hill start. The examiner will ask you to sit on the bike, get yourself comfortable, he'll give you a radio check, if everything's okay he'll ask you to go out of the gates and then turn right at the end of the road. As you leave the test centre, look through the fence and make sure it's safe from the left. Gently approach the junction, slow control, make a decision. You can cut the corner because of the parked vehicles on the other side. Once you're in the new lane, cancel signal and off you go. At the roundabout, turn left. The second exit please. Just be aware of the van on the left, slow down for the car coming in from the right. Don't go in too early, as you follow it in keep an eye on the pedestrians and stay slightly right away from the kerb, cancel signal and off you go. Be aware of the parked vehicles on the other side and be prepared to move to the left to a safer position. At the roundabout, turn right, the third exit. On approach you can see there's a set of temporary traffic lights. Slow down and then stop a good car length away from the car in front. If you feel you could be here long enough, you could go into neutral and await the lights changing and then when the lights change go back into first gear and prepare to go. As the lights change go back into first gear, do your safety checks and pull away and then do a lifesaver before you change lanes. Look for the sign to keep right and then do a lifesaver to move back to the left hand lane. As a car in front slows down, mirror check and slow down. Once it's turned, mirror check and then off you go. And while nothing's going on, just use this time to settle down, focus and relax. The car in front slowing down, traffic lights run red, just slow it down. If you don't need to stop we can carry on, but if you do need to stop, a good car length away. While you're here, just keep an eye on your mirror and look for anything overtaking on the right. Just continue to keep an eye on your right hand mirror, just to see if there's anything else going to come past before you pull away once the lights change. And when the lights change, keep an eye on your mirror, get yourself prepared to pull away and look to the right and then left in the traffic lights and make sure nothing's jumping the lights as you go through. At the roundabout, turn left the first exit please.
have a look into the right. Once you've made your decision, make sure you look forward to accelerate away. On the left hand lamppost you'll see the repeater sign giving you the new speed limit. Again, just use this time now to settle down and relax into the test. Stay at least two seconds away from the vehicle in front and then through the corner try and maintain the centre position by using counter steering. As the vehicle ahead indicates, check your mirror, check behind, use your brakes to slow down and once it's turned, release the brakes and off you go. At the traffic lights, turn right please. Mirror signal, move over into the filter lane, both brakes and gears to slow down and then finish off on the rear brake only. Even though the lights are on green, just stay behind the line just in case the lights change while you're waiting for the cars in front to move away. You'll see the filter light come on below the green traffic light. When this happens, all the other traffic will be stationary. Keep your eye on it, take a lifesaver and then make the turn. National speed limit in the new lane. Don't get too close to the vehicles in front, allow them to accelerate away first. It is a national speed limit, 60 mile an hour in a single lane, but don't get too close as you increase your speed up towards the speed limit. Keep an eye on all the vehicles ahead, look for any telltale signs that they're slowing down, look for their indicator, also look for any brake lights, but you may well find that you won't get up to speed when you're travelling behind a queue of vehicles in a national speed limit. Keep an eye open for anybody braking ahead. You may well need to brake as well, so check your mirror first. Have a look why he's braking. It may well be a road surface problem, or it could be for the junctions either side of the road. Some warning information with an advisory speed limit and then the sharp deviation signs for the left hand bend. As there's houses around look out for the driveways because somebody may be turning in or out of one of those. And road position is important here keep your eye open for the road surface and then move the bike to a suitable position in the lane. In a country lane, you can move around the road slightly to pick up a better position and preferably in a dry line. Just pick up the new 40 mile an hour speed limit. Take the next road on the right please. Mirror signal, into position, slow it down both brakes, rear brake as you get closer and a lifesaver before the turn. Pull over in a safe place on the left hand side of the road please. Just make sure that you don't block anyone's drive or stop opposite a junction. Once you've stopped, cancel signal. When you're ready, pull away and turn left at the end of the road, please. Keep an eye on your mirror. When it's clear, indicator on. Take a lifesaver. You can take your hand off the throttle to do that and then pull away when it's safe. Just come in on the rear brake. Have a good look in the junction. If you're not happy, stop. If you are happy, look forward and carry on. Cancel signal in the new lane and then accelerate away.
As you're travelling down this road, you will pick up repeater signs on the lampposts because there are junctions on the right-hand side of the road. If you were to look into those junctions, you would see there'd be a different speed limit as you turn in. If you look into the junction on the right, you can clearly see the 30 mile an hour speed limit sign. Try and maintain a dry line as you're going into the corners. Keep your head up, plan forward, look ahead and be aware of what's happening around the bend. You must be able to stop within the distance you can see to be clear on your side of the road. As you approach the industrial estate, keep your eyes on the junctions and if you need to move away from a junction for your safety, check your mirror or shoulder and then move away to a safe position. Pull over in a safe place on the left hand side of the road please. Cancel signal once you've stopped. This is the independent ride. The examiner would ask you to follow signs for Eversham and Warwick. They then turn into signs for Redditch and then Redditch Town Centre. When you're ready, off you go please. Ensure you have a good lifesaver before you pull away. Once you've moved off, move to the middle of the lane and cancel signal. If you don't get any instructions from the examiner, just follow the road ahead. Make sure it's safe. Stay in the left hand lane. Indicate to the left. Check to the right. In the new lane, cancel and accelerate away. Start looking for your new signposts because you may have to make a turn without being told. And there's our first turn, signposted either should not worry. Signpost for the new direction and national speed limit 70 miles an hour on the dual carriageway. Warwick and Eversham straight ahead. Information sign for a sharp bend, mirror check, Need a lifesaver over the right hand side and then slow it down. Use both brakes on approach. Ensure that you've finished braking before you start cornering. Search through the bend, look all the way through, looking for the lamppost and the tree line so that you know where the bend is going. As the road straightens, both brakes and gears to slow down and then rear brake to finish off. Have a really good look. If you're not sure, look forward and stop and make it safe. If you're happy, look forward and off you go. Observe the 40 mile an hour speed limit ahead and make sure you're doing the correct speed before you get there. And in case you missed the 40 mile an hour speed limit sign, the road markings also give you that information. There are some houses either side of the road, so just keep your eyes peeled for anyone turning in or out of the driveway. A new signpost coming up, keep your eyes open for the direction that you need for the independent ride. 
mirror signal, slow it down, front brake, rear brake and gears. Onto the rear brake only, about three car lengths from the junction. Lifesaver to the left as you go in, make sure it's safe. As you go around, swap the signal from right to left, lifesaver left, find the new sign, cancel signal, and away. Straight ahead of the roundabout, following signs for Redditch Town Centre. Both brakes to slow down, and gears, and then finishing off on the rear brake only. Have a good look, make the decision, look forward when you decide to go, staying in the left hand lane, indicate left, lifesaver left, check your right shoulder, make sure it's safe, and pick up the signpost as part of the independent ride. And then you'll pick up repeater signs on the lampposts on the left hand side of the road. Keep an eye open for the junction on the left hand side. If there's anyone waiting to come out, you can move away to the right. Once you see the van on the left hand side, mirror checks, make sure it's safe behind, just in case the van pulls out. As you get close, you can see the workman on the left, the van doors open on the left hand side, so just look forward and carry on. As part of the independent ride, straight ahead at the roundabout, second exit, signposted Redditch Town Centre. Rear brake only just to finish off, slow it right down, wait for a gap, look forward once you find your gap, off you go. Once you join the dual carriageway, take the second exit off the carriageway please. Signal left, lifesaver left, glance to the right, pick up the new sign and the new speed limit, National speed limit on the dual carriageway, 70 miles an hour. Ensure that you stay at least two seconds away from the vehicle in front in the dry conditions and four seconds in the wet. Continue planning on the dual carriageway, pick up the white car, just join in the carriageway, check behind in your mirror, check if there's any more cars joining the carriageway, and there's our new exit, so we're going to indicate, keep the speed on until you get into the slip lane, once you're in the slip lane, cancel signal, both brakes slow it down, and make sure you're doing the correct speed before the bend. At the end of the road, turn left please. Thirty mile an hour speed limit to join the new lane. And then cancel signal and off you go. Keep an eye on your mirror when you're accelerating away. Once you've seen the problem, deal with it and then move back and continue riding. The examiner will be looking for how you deal with the problems and then how you recover from any issues that happen on the test. So just continue riding as normal. Make sure when you stop it's a good car length away. Wait for the lights to change when you see an amber light. Do your checks, make sure it's safe and then move on. And continue to observe the two second rule in the dry conditions and again if it was wet you need to be at least four seconds away from the vehicle in front. 
You may need to move left of centre, away from the white van, if there was oncoming traffic. The first warning triangle is for a staggered crossroads, and the second one is for a school crossing ahead. Pull over in a safe place on the left hand side of the road please. Don't pull up opposite or near the bus stop or opposite the parked vehicle and give yourself a nice distance away from the wet leaves. Once you stop, cancel signal. Pull away when you're ready. Have a good look behind. You can take your hand off the handlebar to have a look behind you, especially if the examiner's close. Indicate, do your check, and then off you go. And cancel signal. At the end of the road, turn left please. Mirror signal, move over into position, slow it down, look for the gap in between the cars, ride through gently, Good luck to the right, make the decision look forward, and then off you go. Once in the new lane, cancel, and away. At the end of the road, turn right please. Mirror signal, move to position, look for any vehicles that are cutting the corner from the left. If you're not happy, slow down, then stop. Aim the bike slightly to the right, just to the right hand side of the lamppost. Once you've found your gap, take a lifesaver to the right and make sure it's safe. As you head out of the junction, aim to the right hand side of the parked vehicles, cancel signal, and look around the bend to the left. As you observe around the corner, keep away from the junction and stay away from the white van on the left hand side. Take the next road on the right. You may not be given any instructions by the examiner because the signpost tells you that the road ahead is a cul-de-sac and comes to a dead end. Stay central between the lines of parked vehicles in the one-way street. Just up ahead you can see the markings for the end of the one-way street. Because it's a closed junction, come up and stop. If you can't see clearly, you can move forward to make a good decision. Make sure it's safe both ways, look forward and then off you go. You can see the one-way street signs in the new lane. At the end of the street, turn left please. Mirror signal as you approach. A rear brake only, we can angle the bike to the right, we can tell it's the end of a one way street because of the markings at the end. Once you've stopped have a look, if it's clear look forward and go. Once you're in the new lane cancel signal and accelerate away looking ahead and planning for any problem. Keep your eyes open for the road signs, you won't be told to turn left here because of the signpost on the left telling you it's a bus lane to the right, so signal on and make the left turn. At the end of the road, turn left please. As you look forward you can see the junction's quite tight, so slow it right down. Slow control is important here. If you're not happy with the slow control, just come up and stop, but look forward before you go so you can see what's going on in the new lane. Take the next road on the right, please. Mirror signal, into position. Look out for oncoming traffic as you go through. Lifesaver before you turn. If you can't go, stop. Then complete a lifesaver. And then off you go. Keeping an eye on this car on the right before you set off. As you go down the hill, if there's any part of vehicles on the right hand side, move to the left straight away in case there's oncoming traffic. As you approach the part vehicle, 
life safe and move out. Just be aware of any oncoming traffic over the brow of the hill and then look to hold your position in between the par vehicles. At the end of the road, turn right please. Mirror signal into position as you drop down the hill, move to the rear brake only and then try and angle the bike to the right towards the oak tree to make it easier to come out of the junction. If you've been here for some time, take a lifesaver over the right shoulder and as you pull out, look where you're going, stay out to the right, keep it slow in between the traffic, the council signal and then off you go. If there's no oncoming traffic, you can sit on the right hand side of the line, but if there was oncoming vehicles, you could move back to the left hand side and slow down to go through the gap. Have a left mirror check to move back in. At the traffic lights, turn left please. Mirror check. Look for the traffic lights, signal left, slow it down on both brakes, rear brake to finish off. In the new lane, cancel and off you go. Be aware of the power vehicles on the left hand side, take a lifesaver to move out and then look for any oncoming traffic over the brow of the hill. And just keep an eye on the pedestrian crossing. You can stay out, away from all the parked vehicles, there's no need to keep moving in and out. And this will be part of your planning and awareness. Pull over in a safe place on the left hand side of the road please. Just make sure you clear the junction on the right by at least 10 metres and don't block any junctions or driveways on the left. Once you've stopped, cancel signal. Pull away when ready. When you're happy, mirror, signal, a good lifesaver. And when you're ready, pull away, cancel signal, and build up the screen. As you ride forward, look ahead between the power vehicles. Just move yourself to a good position if there's oncoming traffic. Take the next available road on the right, please. You'll notice the first road is not available because it's a no entry. So slow it down, pick up the no entry nice and early, take a lifesaver and then turn into the one way street. At the end of the street, turn left please. You'll notice it's the end of a one way street because of the back of the no entry sign with the light above it and the two dotted lines across the whole of the junction. Once you get into the new lane, cancel signal, keep it steady as you go into the right hand bend and then look forward and see what awaits you in the new lane. You may have to slow right down if there's oncoming vehicles. If they move over, take advantage and then stay slightly left of centre as you make your way down past the park vehicles on the other side of the road. The lifesaver for the park vehicle at the end of the road, turn left please. Mirror signal, just be cautious of the other vehicles. Into position, slow it down, rear brake only, one good look make a decision. If you're happy, look where you're going, out into the new lane cancel signal, and then lifesaver to move out into a good position because of the parked vehicle. You can stay out away from the parked vehicles, just make sure the junction is safe and then move in once you've gone past the last part book. At the roundabout, turn left. The first exit, please. 
mirror signal, slow it down on approach, good look to the right, stay in the left hand lane in the roundabout, and as you look forward, you can see this part of vehicles, so out to the right, cancel signal, and make sure there's no oncoming vehicle. And at this stage, you could start planning where you'd move into if there was any oncoming traffic. At the end of the road, turn left, please. Mirror, signal, into position, both brakes to slow down and rear brake only. If you're not happy, look forward and stop. Once the vehicle goes past, look at the back of the vehicle to give you something to aim at, follow it out, cancel signal and then off you go. We need to observe the two second rule, so stay at least two seconds away from the vehicle in front in the drive and four seconds in the wet. Keep an eye on the junction on the left hand side and if you need to, you can move away slightly to the right. Lifesaver for the parked vehicles and then stay out nice and wide if it's clear to do so. Might need to check your mirror and slow down for the vehicle up ahead turning right. But you could look for a gap of the inside because it is legal to undertake if the vehicle in front is turning right and the gap is big enough and safe enough to go through. Move to the left for the brow of the hill, especially with the beam parked vehicles on the other side of the road. The word slow in the road for the pedestrian crossing. Take the next available road on the left please. You can indicate past the first junction because it's got two dotted white lines denoting the end of the one way street and the next road has got single dotted lines denoting the beginning of a one way street. At the end of the street, turn right please. Lifesaver move away from the parking vehicle. Move back in, indicator on, both brakes to slow down. Rear brake only as you slow down towards the junction. And if you're not happy, just look forward and stop. When it's clear, look where you're going and off you go and cancel signal before the next junction. And then take the next right into the test centre please. Mirror signal, slow down on the approach, lifesaver before you turn, and then as you turn into the test centre, look what's going on. There's a vehicle reversing into a bay, so just bring the bike to a stop and wait for it to be clear before you move in. Once it's moved back into the space, do your observations, pull away, and then park in facing forward to finish the test. Once you've stopped, into neutral, switch off, put the bike on the stand, and then await further instructions. You'll then be told to go back into the test centre, where you'll have a full test debrief. The examiner will discuss any errors with you, they'll keep your driving licence, give you a pass certificate and your new driving licence will come through in the post.